before we even get to the what, who, and how of lead nurturing, are you clear on the why? B2B statistics show that anywhere between 30 to 50% of leads are qualified but are sadly not ready to buy, while 25% are good hot leads and the other 25% are simply not qualified and should be exiting your pipeline. Before lead nurturing became a thing, 8-10% to of those not yet ready to buy leads were likely to become a sale. Not bad, but with lead nurturing in the mix, that number significantly bumped up to an average of 15-20%. to That means almost double the sales. And that is why you should be nurturing your leads. So what exactly is lead nurturing? Who should you go after? And most importantly, how do you do it? Number 1. Lead nurturing is more than staying in touch with your prospects on a regular basis so they don't forget about you. It's building a relationship with your prospects by delivering the information and assistance they seek at the time they need it until they come to a buying decision. Emphasis on, at the time they need it. Keep it timely. Number 2. Prospects who are not ready to buy are not yet ready to buy for a variety of reasons. Not all are the same. It may be the budget, the people who have to decide, or their implementation schedule. Different reasons call for different responses. So you can't just send one type of email to all and expect great results. Keep it customized. So two things, timely and customized. In other words, keep it relevant, not random information popping up at your prospects at random times. And how do you keep it relevant? When you're with Callbox, we keep it relevant for you through the Callbox Lead Nurture Workflows. We have established workflows to nurture prospects who just aren't quite ready for a conversation. Those who are receptive to your offer but asking for more information. Those who say they are not interested and those who don't reply at all. We know how important each sales opportunity is to you, so we don't waste any of them. We make sure we have a well-defined plan of action to capture as many of those qualified opportunities as possible, ensuring conversion success. The first key to lead nurturing success is channels. Sending out a sequence of emails alone isn't effective anymore. We touch base with your prospects where they can be found. Callbox meets the following specific lead nurturing goals across four channels through call, email, social, and mobile. The second key to lead nurturing success is timing. From the first point of contact with your prospect, we don't let too much time pass by so they don't get the chance to forget your brand. Our lead nurturing workflows have scheduled touch points across different channels over several days, weeks, and months. No more forgetting to send that email or make that phone call. The third key to lead nurturing success is contacts. That's contacts with an S. Buying decisions are often made by a group of people in a company. If your original contact is unreachable, fret not. Your call box team reaches out to other relevant contacts within your target account and applies the same lead nurturing workflow until we get a hold of a decision maker or an influencer. There you have it, the three keys to a successful lead nurturing campaign with Callbox. Covering all channels, going with strategic timing, and reaching out to all relevant contacts. With the Callbox Lead Nurture Workflows, those leads who are not yet ready to buy are simply sales opportunities waiting to happen. Now, why settle for a 10% close ratio when you can go for 20 or more? To find out how we can make our Lead Nurture Workflows work for your business, book an appointment with a Callbox Marketing Consultant today.